Hi, Mitch here with a quick tutorial. I had a problem. I bought a Yamaha DD75 desktop drum pad and I wanted to use it with Easy Drummer 2. But what I discovered is that I could not change the note values in Easy Drummer 2. I guess you can in Superior Drummer, but you can't in Easy Drummer. And uh, I can change the MIDI note output values on the DD75 per pad, but the problem with that is the minute I change anything for some reason, I was losing the hi-hat uh, pedal. It wouldn't work properly. And there might be a scenario where you have like uh, some other kind of pad or maybe a Phantom or a FA series uh, rolling keyboard with the pads on it, and you want to change the pad assignments, but um, but you don't want to go through all the menus. Well, this quick tutorial hopefully will show you how to do that. Okay, so let's get right to it. This uh, this little guy right here is MIDI Input Transformer, if you can see where my mouse is circling. Go ahead and click that, and you'll get this window. Um, I already have three of them on, but I'm going to show you one by one how I program those. So first of all, let's start with module one. I actually, I think that was this symbol right here. You can see right in it here. In fact, let's do this so you can see exactly what's triggering. When I hit that particular note, I'm getting the bell here, and I'm getting the, the bow of the ride symbol here. Now those are two different pads, and I wanted to assign only one of those pads to the ride, and one of them to a different crash. So let's keep this note, and by the way, if you do this, it shows you the actual note values, which is cool. Okay, so now to change this, the bell, to this symbol, which is what I want to do, let's, let's first do this. Go to value 1, which is going to be notes. Value one in, in MIDI input transformer is always notes. We're going to filter, and if you, here we go, we'll, we'll tell it we want, if that ne the note coming in is equal to, and I'll even hit it and you'll see it change. See that change 53? Okay, so now what we want to do is go down here to our action, do the same thing, set it to a note. We want to set it to a fixed note, right? and then go over here to that symbol. We want that crash, that crash is 49, so put in the parameter 49. Now when I hit it, we have to turn it on, of course. Here we go. You're hearing um, probably me hitting the pad on the mic, coming through the mic, it's got a fairly big compressor on it. That's why it sounds like a little box behind me. Okay, so let's do it again. Now, let's do it for the snare. Come down here to the snare and take a look at the note values. And by the way, if you don't know the MIDI number uh, value for a particular note, there's actually quite a few guides on the internet that will tell you which note is equal to which MIDI value. So I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but here we go. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to set it to note is equal to, and then we just hit it. There's the rim shot. And then we're going to come down here, pick value one, uh, set to fixed value. And you see the center of the snare is 38. So I'm going to set that to 38. And turn it on, of course. See it change to center? Okay, uh, let's do the next one. Let's take a look at our hi-hat. We'll do one more. A 
let's go from closed tip to closed edge. So we're going to change the MIDI value of 42 to 22. So value one, note is equal to, right now it's coming in at 42, and value one, uh, set to fixed value 22. Now, yeah, oh, it might help if I turn it on, huh? There we go. There we go. That's the entire tutorial. Pretty easy stuff. You could do that for, um, for any input. And I'll quickly cover the things that you should already know if you're using Cubase with MIDI real quickly. Um, set up a MIDI track. Um, if you're using a module, get that going by adding a rack instrument. Uh, set your input uh, MIDI port and your output to your rack instrument. Turn this guy on so you can monitor it. That's the basic. Uh, you know, MIDI setup for Cubase. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know there's not much to it, but this turns out to be a really useful, quick way to reassign pads for drums or really for anything, but primarily for drum rack VST instruments that you might use in Cubase, using it with a pad that either is not assignable or not easily assignable. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this. Uh, if you have questions or feedback, positive or negative, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'm, I'll respond. Uh, and if you get a chance, listen to some of the music that I've done on my channel. I think you might enjoy it. Thank you very much.